up, family? This is Blue Milk Live coming through with another reading. I hope you all well. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all been worrying the hell out about me about this damn reading on Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, and Lala. I'm going to be honest. I don't even care enough about that situation. But since y'all are bugging me, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Emails, DMs, in the comment section. Y'all are really serious about getting this reading. So let's go ahead and jump into it and just talk about it, I guess. Uh, so, Miss Jones, radio personality. Actually, I like her energy, guys. I feel she has an authenticity about herself. Uh, and I did go on her YouTube channel to watch her, so make sure y'all go and check her out. She does have a YouTube channel. Um, she did say something about she had received a DM. Everybody knows about the story already. It's been a few days. So, she received a DM, and this DM was alleging that this person works for Swiss Beats, and that he was a, this person was a part of the camp. And they wanted to bring to her attention that Lala and Swiss Beats were having an affair or have or having an affair. Something like that. Um, she wanted to know who this person was. This person was bringing to her attention. Go check out the song Lala. Pay attention to how Lala is on the Instagram. She's always liking everything that Swiss Beats posts, etc., etc. Miss Jones said she carried this information, right, for a year, almost a year, until Alicia Keys went on Drink Champs and made a statement of some sort. I didn't even watch her Drink Champs, but she made, suppose, allegedly said something that Miss Jones didn't like, and so Miss Jones put it out, all right? Basically, as a retaliation. <laughs> all right, she got, maybe she had that little key in her pocket, so she said, I'm going to use it when I get ready. So anyway, so this all came out and everybody was in shock. Oh my God, what's going on? I can believe it. I can't believe it, et cetera, et cetera. Some people care, some people didn't care. I honestly didn't care because I'm like, I don't see that it's far-fetched, right? Swiss Beats, I already told you that my husband used to work in New York, in the club, as a bouncer, and seen, and he, he, was, he observed so much. He was personal bodyguard. You got to watch it, guys, because see, celebrities, those same people that watch you, they come out into the world, they're in the world, marrying people like me, who seen you in situations where you were with white women, you were entertaining people. So, while married to Alicia Keys, so you have to be careful because those same people come out. My husband is a very honest person. And I told y'all on the last video with Drake. So, I could believe his ass be up to stuff, right? But anyway, that's neither here nor there, child. That's neither here nor there. And then, of course, other people were saying, well, you know, look how he did his first wife, you know, and the whole situation with that, which I feel like actually changed the scope of Alicia Keys' career in some way. Now, that's not my fight. I don't have a dog in that fight as far as what he did with his ex-wife and Alicia Keys. It had nothing to do with me. We're here to talk about the situation at hand where Ms. Jones received a DM saying that there was a relationship between uh, her and Swiss Beats. So let's just start with this. Spirit, give me the energy, please, around Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, and Mala Anthony. Now, this person told her to go in the DMs and check it out, but also check out a song called La La. Ooh, child, that first song that fell out, that first card that fell out is like, what, what, what? Anyway, and uh, Miss Jones said, go check out a song about Lala. So I went and checked it out, read the words, child, and I'm like, okay, what is going on with Miss Alicia Keys? All right, let's get the energy around it. Again, Lala Anthony. Swiss Beats, Alicia Keys, and I mean, the energy is really good, really good, judgment, when I tell you the judgment that has been brought upon them, it's like, the, the they're going to deny to the end, guys, by the way, that judgment card is saying denial, denial, denial uh, of the situation, let me show you this, this is them, they're going to deny it, the judgment card is here, all right? And that judgment card is saying, I am going to reject this. I am going to deny this. Uh, this is nothing more than gossip. There is an error, error in judgment. There are some unfair blames that are being placed upon us. This is what that card is talking about. However, the lover's card is in the past position as a sexual energy. So when you see that, that talks about, um, that talks about people who could come together for the sake of uh, just a sexual experience, just a little hookup situation. Do I feel like there was a real relationship here? I don't feel like they had like a relationship. I feel like they could have had a possible situation where 
they they engaged each uh they, they and i say they because it comes up with a four of wands energy and i guess that's why i'm saying they because that day that that four of wands it can it, it kind of comes into a community so i don't feel like it's just swiss beats and lala i feel like it's a three-way situation or was a possible three-way situation where they dipped in each other's pool <laughs> a little bit so i don't feel like it's just um even though they're denying it, it's here and it's here with that will of fortune in the middle. I definitely feel like there, there was a connection that may have happened between the three of them. And that's what it shows. Because when you have that lover's card with that four of wands, that's like we're bringing it together. And so there's a togetherness energy here. Do I think it's been going on and on forever and ever, ever? No. Do I think it may have happened maybe... You know, maybe a time or two or three or four, maybe, you know, but it just shows that there's something that is there, right? And I don't feel like it's Swiss Beast cheating on Alicia Keys. I feel like it's a community energy. Community means a connected energy between all parties. So that's what it shows in this energy. The death card is here, right? That relationship has transformed and moved forward and everybody's kind of moving their own lane and the, the Eight of Swords is here. And this is like, now here come the bull crap. Here come people trying to start crap. But there's definitely something to the rumors that have been spread. All right. So it feels like a general energy and it feels like it's not just, uh, it's not just one person. It could be uh, like three people connecting. Or, like, again, it has community energy. So, Spirit, give me energy around... Let's just start with Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys and Lala Anthony. What is the energy around Alicia Keys' energy towards Lala Anthony? And they have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups signifies a friendship that, of course, has an affection to it, that has a connection to it. This relationship could be considered platonic. It could be considered romantic. But there's something with them as far as them being friends, confirm the energy. And they consider each other family. That's in the energy as well. They've been around each other. And they're coming back again with the lover's card. Their connection is actually, um, again, it shows them having a some sort of friendship slash connection. Now, they can deny they want. They can go on Hollywood and lock an interview and try to debunk what I'm saying. Do what you do. Do how you feel how you want to feel. Cards don't lie. Energy don't lie. And the vibration is high. So do I feel like these ladies may have been attracted to each other? They may have thing, you know, had a, a, a moment together. It feels like it. It feels like it. Um, you know, the thing that's interesting is that they are really friends, though. Outside of just the connection that's here, they they have friendship energy. They've been in each other's lives. They've been in each other's families. Uh, when I was reading the words to Lala, you know, she was Alicia Keys was saying something about somebody's the the beauty. This eyes are captivating. Lala has the most captivating eyes. Go check out her pictures. She has the most beautiful, big, dull eyes ever. I mean, when I tell you the most beautiful eyes, like you could just look in her eyes. It's just gorgeous. So some of those, this thing that she was saying about Lala in here is here, right? I have a connection to you. There's an attachment to you. But the lover's card comes back up again for her and Alicia Keys, interesting enough. All right? So this is the energy around Lala and Alicia Keys. Again, this is a friendship that may have had some you know, connected moments, I'm going to say it like that, period, point blank. I don't think people are just lying on them. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Give me the energy around Swiss Beats and Lala Anthony. Now, collectively, we already talked about collectively, collectively, we I see them together, all right? But Alicia's energy and connection is uh, attached to Lala, too. Give me the energy around uh, uh, Swiss Beats and Alala. What's the energy around now? And they're coming back with friendship cards. Let me pull through the middle. Tower moment. Let me say this too. He is also a part of it. So he can stop playing games. And he has the Seven of Swords. That Seven of Swords energy re it represents a person who is, who, you know, has something going on. And now he's trying to Throw the monkey wrench in it. Let me tell you something. If nothing happened with Lala, you wouldn't be fighting it so much. You wouldn't be on the, the mic so much. You wouldn't be answering it so much. Like your answers, your responses are guilty. All right? That's how I see you. You're guilty. All right? Um, you're trying to avoid things. You're trying to throw monkey wrenches out there. It is. You're trying to in the energy. So for me, 
you show more of your hands by even responding to it, right? The only la la I'm rocking is, you know, this la la song or what have you. But you have in your energy guilty conscience. You have in your energy something that was done in secret. You're trying to act with the seven of swords is I'm acting with diplomacy. All right. So that's what it shows in the energy. He's going to protect Alicia Keys regardless, right? The, the two of wands and the, the two of cups and the three of pentacles also represent people or friends who come together for or what? Uh, to connect. So that shows still more three third party energy here, right? Now, do I think that he's been like, you know, they talk about business and what's going on in entertainment and they share things together? Absolutely. But he still comes off as somebody who still was, is connecting with Lala as well. And let me say this. I'm not, I wouldn't even be surprised if, you know, that's the, that's the problem with, that's the problem with having those third party situations because then people could peel off and still be trying to see each other on the side because he is the seven of swords with that two of cups, which means I'm still, I'm sneaky. I'm being sneaky when it comes to that friendship. So don't play no games, sir. Don't play no games and act like, you know, that people like, and, and the person wanted people to see it. Whoever reported this wanted you, people to know about it. And you got to be careful about the people that you bring to the camp because there's some energy here that is suggesting that somebody that is a, that was or is was that was that is or was a part of your camp wanting people to know this because what of some type of unresolved issue that you guys had with each other regarding business or the way that person felt they were treated or there's some unresolved issue here. You got to be careful. <clears throat> you got to make, you got to be careful with people because they're willing to tell on you. But there is some energy that does suggest some sneaking around with a sneaking around, uh, con continue sneaking around and friendship energy with Lala. Now, will they be careful and avoid? Absolutely. So, that's it. That's the energy with La Between, Swiss Beats, and Lala. Let's get the energy around Lala, Anthony. Let me say this, too. All of them. Swiss Beats is sneaky. We already know that. Look how he did his ex-wife. My husband said he saw him firsthand with white women while he was married with Alicia Keys in a club, hugged up. Period. Okay? And I believe everywhere he said. But let's talk about this. Alicia Keys has masculine energy. Period. She could look. She looks. I read her before. I deleted the the reading because a, a jaguar was attached to it. She has masculine energy. She has energy of someone who would be basically a lesbian. Lala also has the same energy. She's just more feminine with it. I'm like none of this surprised me. That's why I wasn't interested in doing the reading. It didn't surprise me. It didn't surprise me at all. Give me the energy around Lala as a person, Spirit. And her energy connected to Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys. Lala Anthony. None of that stuff surprised me, guys. Now, do I feel like they're having a full-fledged situation? No. And it shows also some affection energy is here with them as well. A lot of this stuff is falling into past position, by the way. Just let you know. I don't feel like anything is happening right now. They do have the Ace of Cups. She has the Ace of Cups for them. That can talk about somebody who has like a relationship energy with a person. Also a friendship. That suggests a love affair as well. Um, and then, but this all feels like past position energy. So whatever they had going on. It definitely feels like more like a year ago. It feels like it's been some time ago, right? Um, the Three of Pentacles is here. The Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Blah, blah, like I'm not even about to get into all of this. The Six of Pentacles is here. But this is going to be attached to her. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised she hasn't responded to it yet, guys. Because this talks about her thinking about addressing it. But then saying, I'm not about to get into all of that. That, that Six of Pentacles is also here. And that Six of Pentacles is also too, you know, that's whatever I do in my business is my life, right? That's what that talks about. She also has the Seven of Swords as well. And this also says coming clean. So then she could turn around with that coming clean energy. That's like somebody said, I'm not about to address it, but then she decides to address it. Remember, they had the judgment card in reverse. Denial, denial, denial. So I don't believe that anybody's going to admit to any of this, period, point blank. But they do. She has romantic cards when it comes to them. I think whatever they had going on, again, it doesn't feel like relation. Like they were like, oh, we're going to be together and all this stuff. But when he, when that lady was saying something about Lala likes them or likes him, it's here. All right? Um that's what it shows. This does show some creeping around and this does show some strings attached. 
at the end of the day, they can deny what they want. This reading is for entertainment purposes. And like I said, you know, that's they're they're grown. They can do what they want, child. You know, this is highly weird, you know, so they can do what they want. But it does show some some romantic energy, some sneaking around energy, and some strings attached energy. So that's the bottom line. Will they ever be together all in the future? No. Will she and Swiss be together in the future? No. None of that. You know, none of that. All right. Um, Swiss Beats, he's over there responding to Jasmine Brand. Um, he on there toasting glasses with Alicia Keys. You know, look, look. <laughs> celebrating. Using this too. <laughs> I love it. Look, I said celebrating and the card of celebration comes out. Celebrating this child because they're going to use this to their full advantage to promote her album. Some people were questioning this was this a strategic move to promote their album. No. It feels like, okay, well, now that it's out, we're going to use it to our benefits. Isn't that so funny? The card of celebration actually came out. This talks about, guess what? They're going to still be together. They're going to rock together. They're going to, I like, I'm going to be honest with you. I watched them um, when they did their, some kind of way I, uh, uh, when I put their name in the system, they, um, the house tour came up where they did their house for, I guess, it, I don't know what it was, but I, the beautiful home, beautiful artwork. I loved it. Um, but um, they're going to continue to rock it out together, guys. These couple, this couple is going to continue to celebrate, you know, anniversaries and birthdays and, and, and they, they know what it is in their real life. And they, they have real love for each other, guys, by the way. They have real love. I can see these people being together until they're old and gray, somebody gone. But, um, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's their business and it is what it is. And again, um, you know, you know, maybe she can interview with, you know, Jason Lee since he's taken the interview and everybody to, to, to debunk rumors and, um, she can talk for herself a la la and they had the card of judgment. So I don't believe nothing that they would say that would come out of their mouth. And, um, you know, at the end of the day. I don't feel it's Swiss cheating on Alicia. I feel like it's more of it was a connection between people. And the connection actually feels more like it's between her and Alicia. But then she and Swiss still had like a little friendly thing going on too. So, you know, this is why you can't be sharing your man with women because they don't turn around and start being friendly with the man. Too friendly with the man. And so, especially if they, you know, some women gravitate more to the man than they'll do gravitate to the woman. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to um, drop a comment in the comment section. And whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. It's their business. And <laughs> at the end of the day, like these people are grown. I think Swiss is like in his late 40s. Alicia's in her 40s. And Lala is in her 40s. Like, well, that's literally their business, you know. But the person who put it out, and I'm going to be honest, I had dealt this uh, earlier, had dealt this a while back. This is a petty, messy person that felt that actually feels like they have actual knowledge, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Whoever, uh, and it almost felt like it, it felt like a woman who did it. But then it could be a man who has feminine energy. But it felt like somebody who had challenges with Swiss Beats in terms of how they were treated or the energy around them. It just felt like something that, you know how like when sometimes when people work for people, they don't like the way they to being dealt with or handled in terms of business or work or even how they're being paid or how much work they're giving. It felt, it really felt like somebody who was out for, it, it was actually out to, um, wanted this out and wanted to be, uh, it just felt so um, sabotages. Like it's like I want to sabotage you, um, and um, again, it, it was intentionally given to Miss Jones because they felt like she was, uh, you know, that that it would be believed. And you can tell by that because, you know, I think that if okay, Tasha K said it on her channel, they would have just threw that in a one like Tasha K. You know what? Well, you gotta you know take what she says with a grain of salt because sometimes it's true and sometimes it's not. But because Miss Jones said it. That's when it went and took wings because it's like, okay, Miss Jones was an artist. She was in the music industry. You know, she's a, she's, she, she's been around celebrities. She knows a lot. And that's what rattled their feathers that Miss Jones said, right? So that's why they took it to Miss Jones because they knew that by Miss Jones delivering the message that it would, it would be, it would get, it would take wings and take flight. So and then I think they also were bothered by the fact that Tasha said it because they felt like Tasha was a friend of theirs too. Because if she did say something about it, she felt like somebody was calling her trying to check on it, but she got to do her job and that's true. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the road for me. I ain't making this reading that long. Because like I said, I didn't even care about none of this because to me, it all felt so, ener the energy around it felt like it's believable. It felt like it, it's not far-fetched. But take care. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.